It's the Juice Bros. It's A giving you a daily dose of your freshest squeeze. Welcome back. Welcome back. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. And please don't forget to share this video and do watch those ads I might just add because, wow, it's a little bit rough on my side. But let me tell you the most important factor of actually me creating this video. So a little while ago, I, I came to, okay, information came through. I went through some things and then I found this information that Jabulani Ngob, who is well known as cash flow the forex trader or the forex guru as you might put it is in jail but i couldn't present this to you guys because i wanted substantial evidence something to back me up just a little thing that says that hey he is actually in prison so me whilst waiting for that today the glorious of god god was with me and said girl here is information so i'm giving it to you right now as you can hear so um, Jabulani Ngobo, well known as Cashflow, is under arrest with his friend. I know that his name is Lamini. Um, what's his full name? Mzabalazo. Welcome, Lamini. They are arrested for fraud, guys. And this is a case that has been pending since 2014. I remember that uh, Cashflow came on social media or was it newspaper? Yeah, on a newspaper outlet, and he said that. Um, the allegations that were against him on 2016, they were actually being excused because um, I don't know why, but then he just said that they were excused. So he is, he's on the clear, you know what I'm saying? But then it seems like they were just like, pushing him like to think or making him think that they, it, it's just pushed aside, whereas the, the investigation continued. So... To clarify all this or to show you guys that it's actually true, the FSCA actually made a press release and they released this letter saying the FSCA welcomes the successful prosecution and sentencing of Jabulani Cashflow Ngobo and Mzabalazo welcomed the many on several counts of fraud and contravening section 7 number 1 of the Financial Advisory and Intermediary Service, the FAIS Act. The matter was in court since 2014 and specialized commercial crime court in Durban has now sentenced the two to six guests in prison two of which were suspended and a fine of 200,000 wholly suspended for five years imagine so if your mom your dad your aunt your grandmother or even you personally went fell for the scam and you gave him apparently 1.8 was one of the common monies that she, they would ask for so if you paid them or you gave them your money and they blocked you like they traditionally did so what basically they if you what they basically did they was tell you horoke invest so much and then you would invest that much and then after giving them the money they block you and they don't give you andach anymore so if you were part of that darling your money is gone for good okay make peace but then know that they are actually paying for it in prison be careful out there, guys. Money is something that we work hard for. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good day. Goodbye.